Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Math Tube and this is lesson number 12 in the exam preparation series and these videos are specially designed for the first year engineering students who are studying in TU affiliated colleges and as always how to use the video lessons effectively and here we go 1, 2, 3 and 4 I hope you are trying to practice these things. Anyway, let's move ahead and learn something called Dirichlet's Integral. The questions related to Dirichlet's Integral appear now and then in the past paper questions. So, the statement goes like this. If V is a volume region or a volume in the three-dimensional region or in the three-space, bounded by x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0 and z greater than or equal to 0. That simply means the first octant. Okay. And here comes a plane and that creates a tetrahedron. That is x plus y plus z is equal to 1. And that means x by 1 plus y by 1 plus z by 1 equal to 1. So that means it will cut the x-axis, y-axis and the z-axis at 1. Okay. And here is a statement. So, we have a weird looking integral. And the answer is given in terms of gamma. <coughs> okay. Even though the integral looks weird, it is helpful in solving many, many problems. Okay. I will keep the Dirichlet's integral on the right side of the screen. So, the first question, evaluate triple integral x dx dy dz. And you have to note one thing, sometimes they may give you dv instead of this. So, if they give you dv, you can replace it with dx dy dz. And bounded by the coordinate planes and x plus y plus set equal to 1. Now look at this. If you want to apply the Dirichlet's integral, it should be in the first octant. That is x, y, z greater than or equal to 0 and the last one should be in the form less than or equal to 1. But when you look at this, you see equal to 1. But no need to worry. It is given the region bounded by the coordinate planes and this. Okay, that of course implies x plus y plus z less than or equal to 1 and it's in the first octant. So, the region is okay. Now, let's write the integral. So, the given integral is x dx dy dz. But now, I want you to take a very good look at the Dirichlet's integral. It's in the form x power l minus 1, y power m minus 1 and z power n minus 1. So, that will be x to the power 2 minus 1 because I can see the power of x is 1. And I can write 1 as 2 minus 1. And we have y as well as z here but we don't have y and z over here. And no need to worry because y to the power 0 is 1. And that implies I can write 1 minus 1. So, that's it. The same goes for z. So, x power 2 minus 1, y power 1 minus 1, z power 1 minus 1. Now, it looks like the Dirichlet's integral. And that's it. We can write the answer. Gamma 2, gamma 1, gamma 1, the whole divided by gamma 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and in the first semester itself you learn how to deal with gamma so simplifying you'll get 1 by 24 okay now let's take a look at another question so evaluate the triple integral x dx dy dz where v is the region in the first octant bounded by the surface x to the power 2 by 3 plus y to the power 2 by 3 plus z to the power 2 by 3 equal to 1. Oh, it looks really, really, really different from this region. But 
Don't worry, we will somehow manipulate and put it in this format. Okay, anyway, it's given first octant. And that gives the promise x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0, and z greater than or equal to 0. And say is bounded by. That means the boundary is this. So basically, you will be able to see less than or equal to. I will repeat. First octant gives the guarantee x, y, z are positive and the boundary is this means it is inside this region ok now what we do is in order to achieve this x plus y plus z format we will call this as u v and w I'll repeat in order to achieve this x plus y plus z format what we do is we call the first one as u the second one as v and the third one as w and just apply loss of indices write x in terms of u that will be 3 by 2 3 by 2 3 by 2 and then take the differential so dx will be 3 by 2 u to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 i'm not going to simplify now i'll just keep it as such and our integral okay now it's time to substitute so instead of x I'll be able to use this instead of dx dy dz I am going to use these quantities and I'll plug in all those things and I hope you are quite good with a power m into a power n is a to the power m plus n Anyway, we can combine these two. So that gives me u to the power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 minus 1. And that will be u to the power 2 times 3 by 2 minus 1. And 3 by 2, 3 by 2, 3 by 2 will give us 27 by 8. Anyway, this is exactly what we are going to get. And that's it. It looks like the Dirichlet's integral. So, gamma 3, gamma 3 by 2, gamma 3 by 2, the whole divided by gamma 3 plus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 plus 1. Now, just simplify. And I am sure you are good with gamma function from the first semester. And use a calculator or simplify in your mind. Anyway, that's it. Now, let's check out one more problem. So, we have evaluate x power alpha minus 1, y power beta minus 1, z power gamma minus 1, where v denotes the region in the first octant. Okay, that's good news. First octant means our conditions are satisfied up to this. x is positive, y is positive, and z is positive. And the surface, so bounded by means it is less than or equal to. But sadly it is not x plus y plus z it's something else so that's the first thing we are going to do anyway our conditions are satisfied first octant and bounded by so it's basically less than or equal to n in the first octant now what we do is we'll call this as u v w so that it becomes u plus v plus w less than or equal to one okay so x equal to u power one by two y equal to v power one by two and z equal to w power 1 by 2 and the next step it's differential so dx will be 1 by 2 u to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 du etc 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 now time to substitute so we have our integral over here and before that a few loss of indices what is a power m the whole power n yeah exactly e to the power m into n and what about a power m into a power n that will be a to the power m plus n anyway let's substitute so instead of x i'm going to use this so i get u to the power 1 by 2 the whole power alpha minus 1 and just now I told you, this will simplify to u to the power, the product, 1 by 2 into alpha minus 1. 
or if you want you can write u to the power alpha minus 1 by 2 and the next one will be v to the power beta minus 1 by 2 same thing happens here and we have 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that gives me 1 by 8 okay that's it all the conditions are satisfied it's in the first octant and our u plus v plus w is less than or equal to 1 so we are ready to apply Dirichlet's integral and that is 1 by 8 gamma alpha by 2 gamma beta by 2 gamma gamma by 2 the whole divided by alpha by 2 plus beta by 2 plus gamma by 2 plus 1 okay so that's it but I want you to try a few more questions now itself so the first one triple integral x square dx dy dz over the region bounded by the planes x equal to 0 y equal to 0 that means the first octant and x plus y plus z equal to a where a is positive okay so the first thing you have to do is put it in the form 1 now you can call this as u you can call the second one as v and the third one as w and that will give us u plus v plus w less than or equal to 1 and one more question you can try this and the same logic you call the first one as u then v then w okay so that's it so if you like the video please like share and subscribe so for the time being bye